good morning guys today I'm doing something a little bit different I'm actually on my way to the Grand Union Canal at the famous Three Locks Pound now that has been absolutely solid for the last 10 years this time of year the roads really fly up to that end towards the lock where there's a few boats there moored there now and it has been absolutely brilliant for the last oh I'd probably say eight or nine years especially when it goes cold um, but unfortunately there has been reports of otters up there um, over the last couple of years and I did go down there a few weeks ago and I caught no roach and it was known for its massive bags of roach when it goes cold but no they weren't there and I did catch some skimmers but that was before we had this really cold snap so I'm hoping that there's going to be some skimmers still there last time I went there I had some skimmers and some big perch um, but yeah, I just fancy someone doing something different. Going back to my roots a little bit. I grew up fishing the canal with Luton Angling Club. And then obviously with uh, Image Black Horse years ago. With the Alex and Mark Pollard and Rob Hewison, the original Black Horse team. Lee Newson, Graham Smith. Um, all them top, top canal anglers. Yeah, where we were quite dominant as a team, I would say. But yeah, so nice today. Go back to something a bit different. And hopefully, we'll catch a few. I mean, it is literally seven minute drive from my house. I'm quite lucky to have that on my doorstep. But uh, yeah, there's a booming canal scene that's coming back now. I think a lot of people are actually going back onto the canal scene. But hopefully, we'll catch a few fish. So I'll see you shortly. So here we are guys, you're joining me on the Three Locks Pound on the Grand Union Canal just outside Leighton Buzzard. And the first thing I noticed compared to last time I was here, the colour has dropped out completely. And when I got out of my van, I realised that one of the locks is empty up the top so there'll be no boats through. Last time I fished it, it was like pea soup, chocolate coloured, and it took me a long time to get a bite. But this might be a good thing. They might see me bait a bit quicker. Fluorescent pinky will be fantastic in this. So. I'm going to get set up now. So today I'm going to be using a non-fish meal mix. This part of the canal doesn't get fished for carp very often, so it doesn't see an awful amount of fish meal ground bait. So I'm going to go with a natural mix and I'll be using two ground baits from the So Natural range from Sonia Baits today. A ground bait that everybody knows, So Natural Black Lake, because I say there's not much colour in it, so a darker ground bait is what you want to use. And finally, we can lift the tabs and it's got no sticker on it because this is the prototype bag, the new sweet skimmer mix. Now we've been using this for the last four or five months, trying to catch some skimmers and just put it through its paces. And I've got to say, it's been absolutely fantastic. And I'm really pleased to be able to put this on film today. So Wherever I go, I always love to add flavor to my ground bait. And today I'm using the washed out bait booster. My mix today is half a bag of So Natural Black Lake and half a bag of the brand new Sweet Skimmer Ground Bait. When mixing two ground baits, always mix them dry first before you add the water. Once mixed, Always leave it about 20 minutes for the ground bait to absorb all the water. Then once that's finished, run it through a riddle to give you the perfect consistency. Today's elastic choice will be a solid number 5 original slip for skimmers and a 5 dura slip for a cross against the boat. Ah! 
For my 8 meter line I've chosen a 4B14's F15 with 5 number 8 styles strung out with a single dropper with a size 20 N10 hook. And for my line against the boat, a 4B10's carp pellet float with a strung out bulk of number 10 shot with a size 18 N10 hook with both rigs to O12 AccuPower. Always take your time plumbing up, looking for any variance in the bottom and the depths that you're fishing in. I started off feeding two balls of ground bait at 8 metres a metre apart. As expected the session started quite slow, but after 90 minutes the fish turned up and it was steady for the rest of the day. Wet ball of ground bait has been best today with a few pinkies in it. With the boat owner disappearing after a short while, this was my opportunity to have a look on my long line and was rewarded with a great big perch. This isn't a barge, this is an ocean going vessel. Look at the size of that thing. That's got to be 60 or 70 foot and double width. Well, it's certainly been a strange day. Water was very cold this morning. And I've had two balls of ground bait on my eight meter line. I really struggled to get a bite first of all and it was like it was when I came pleasure fishing a few weeks back. Really struggled at the start. But after a little, after about an hour and a half I started getting bites on this eight metre line and I had five skimmers in five chucks and a couple of roach. And then we had the most horrendous barge come through. Well it's, it was about three barges wide and it was actually waterways transporting lock gates and it turned my peg into a washing machine. Oh, ridiculous. But anyway, after that, it's taken me probably an hour before I had another bite after that. But I've caught some skimmers steady. Double pink here has definitely been the best bait today. But it's been really strange, you've got to really work at it. Almost like fishing a commercial. Lifting and dropping your float all the time. Pulling your float to one side. Well, there we go, and I'm in. Skimmer. Oh.
I'm actually going to put my thermometer in the water shortly before I go and to see how warm the water, what the temperature is. But if I just laid my rig in and didn't lift it or drop it or pull it around, I wouldn't get a bite. I'd keep lifting and dropping or dragging it with the toe. Now this bit of the canal is known for its toe. It does toe from right to left. And when I first got it this morning, it was dead still and it wasn't towing. And as soon as it started to tow, I started to get a few bites. But I had sense that, oh, Mr. Bite, the bites are really strange. Lowering that rig in, just like you would on a commercial. Just holding it still as it starts to, your bottom shot droppers start to drop try and make that bait fall as natural as possible oh there we go and i'm in oh it feels like a better fish oh it does feel like a good fish now i have had a, a decent perch from over against the boat but whether this is a perch or not but it's it's thumping like a skimmer so I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a skimmer but let's have a look yeah it's a skimmer nice one nice skimmer about a pound lovely soft elastic these fish haven't been caught for a while and I can tell they're fighting hot mad I've got five solid through here through two sections just trying to get in these reeds. Oh, look at that lovely skimmer. Lovely, lovely skimmer. Oh, he's got to be over a pound. Cracking fish, look at that. Don't know if you can see that. Wow, I can't believe it. Wow. tiny skimmer. Smallest of the day, probably three ounces. Oh wow, I can't believe how many fish are in my peg. That just shows you how good that new sweet skimmer ground bait is. Wow. I've had Steve McGarrett from Hawaii 5 opposite me in his canoe. And I'm still catching skimmers even after he dropped the Titanic in on the far bank. Just going to let that boat go by and then I'm going to feed again. Getting a few bites now, might me think there might be a few roach in me peg. Normally when you get a bite off a skimmer, it's on. I had a little spell earlier where I went in and had like four or five bites really quickly, which is not normally the skimmer way. Lay a little bit of line on the bottom and then you get a bite at some point. It, you, you don't normally lose them to be fair. There we go, and we're in again. better skimmer again. I'm wondering whether the better skimmer has moved in a little bit now. That's a little one, but these ones are, oh, this one's probably half a pound. Not sure how much longer I'll catch these for now because the guy's just turned up on the boat opposite me. 
we'll carry on, see if we can catch some. Just hope he doesn't start his engine up. That'll definitely be a kick in the gonas. But double fluorescent pinky has definitely been the bait today. I have caught a few on red maggots, but it's been double fluorescent pinky. It's been the best. Now I've had fed that ball and I've had lost the skimmer and had two skimmers over that one ball I've just fed. So well he's definitely going for it now. He's opened up the back of his boat and taken all the tarpaulin down. So I'm definitely in trouble now. I'm not sure how many more fish I'm going to catch. With all the movement on the boat opposite me. Skimmers are quite, are quite spooky fish as they are anyway. So the guy running up and down the boat opposite me now. It, I might try. Did have a bite then. But he seems quite a friendly chap. And I've got a funny feeling he's going to stick his head out the back of the boat and start talking. Which is nice because we've all got to get on together along with each other. There's no point fighting with people that live on the boats because there's only one outcome, you will lose. They live there as their home or their second home. So try and be pleasant with everybody. And you'll normally find if you're pleasant with them they'll probably be as quiet as they can. If you argue with them they'll start washing the side of their boat and pouring all their washing up liquid into your peg. This has almost been like clockwork. Feed a ball of ground bait, small ball of ground bait as I said. And then you get two or three bites off that ball of ground bait. And then almost within 20, 30 seconds of you putting your rig in after that, you're having to wait for a long time for a bite again. But just lifting and dropping that rig, like you're doing a commercial, works really well when it's fishing quite tough on the canal. I mean, the water is really cold. You've got to understand it's really cold. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the guy's up and down on his boat and he's sending ripples across the canal. He was there earlier on. He went out for probably three hours and now he's back again. The secret is to try and get your bait to fall as natural as possible. I have been feeding against the boat, but um, now that he's back, I've got no chance of getting a bite there. Definitely, since he's opened that tarpaulin in the back, the fish have definitely backed off. One more lift and drop. If I don't go under this time, I'm going to refeed again. Oh, there we go, we're in. Another skimmer. Feels like a decent one again. Maybe half a pound. that lift and drop made all the difference irritated that skimmer they must be sitting there irritated that skimmer into feeding oh they are so lively these fish can't believe how hard they're fighting they've probably not been caught for a while so oh, there we go here's another half a pound skimmer you see him look at that beautiful Well guys, what a fantastic day I've had on the bank today. Been using the new sweet skimmer from Sonia Bates. It's been a bit trying today at times, what with the boat traffic and people on the boats opposite getting on with their daily lives. But they're not anglers, so they don't understand. But I've had a great day, caught lots of skimmers, and I've really, really enjoyed myself. Going back to my roots on the Grand Union Canal, it's still a fantastic venue. Well, what an absolutely tremendous day I've had today. Probably a good 18, 19 pound of skimmers there. Some proper fish in there. I've got fish up to two pound. Perch over a pound. Been absolutely superb. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you on the bank sometime. Bye for now.